Imagine finding a person who doesn't have weapons and you just shoot him like a crazy maniac. Oh my god. Chibaga Bandicoot. What's going on everybody? I am Chibaga Bandicoot and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. This is going to be part 4 of the Crash Bandicoot playthrough. And don't forget if you want to check out the unedited live stream, make sure to check out my other YouTube channel Chibaga Vods. Alright, let's get started with this next episode. I'm mad they did add like a phase 2. Can I call? No, the cold ones don't kill me, right? Yeah. What? No, I'm pretty sure you can jump down there. There'd be no point for there to be two enemies down there if you couldn't. I think I probably touched one. Oh, actually, yeah, because I turned into an angel. I didn't, and then do the falling animation. So yeah, I have to be able to go down there. There we go. When I was little, I thought some of these things could not be attacked just because they were like robots. Or maybe you just can't. <laughs> Now I remember Crash Bandicoot. Oh, wait, I need to be paying attention to where I'm standing. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. 
this would be a lot faster. Crash Bandicoot actually made me more confident in games. Cause like, Crash Bandicoot has like this habit of make hiding stuff in places that make you think you're gonna die. And like as a kid, I was always like afraid to... Wow, I just lost Aku like th just like that cause I was talking, not paying attention to what I'm doing. But yeah, as a kid, um, I was like always afraid to do some of these things because it's like, you know, you see enemies there. It's like, who thinks, oh, let me jump to where the enemies are. That, that's, or jump into a bottomless pit. To, like, Crash Bandicoot had you doing some crazy things to beat the game 100%. Like, you had to pay, basically fake death and stuff. And so. Crash Bandicoot like made me a lot more confident in my actions and games, like committing to what I'm going to. Do. Oh wait, I messed up. I think as much as I have, and then and then the new player's gonna die like ten times <laughs> as much as I do. I'm all like, all right. So like for example, since I died on that like three or four times, that means like a regular person probably gonna die ten to fifteen times, and then a new player is probably gonna tr die trying that section. Why is the camera not okay? Thank you, camera. Then a new person at Crash Bandicoot is probably or new in games in general, probably going to lose like I don't know <laughs> twenty to thirty lives on there. Oh wait, no no. I want to get this crate. Oh, I broke the life limit. Cortex power. I like how this level has a whole intro for it. <laughs> it's like, alright, you're finally get in Cortex, getting close to Cortex Castle. Alright, does this level have a gem? I don't remember. This level has, yeah, I remember this is the one that has like three paths, huh? <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I don't have a gem, so I, I'm just gonna beat the level. <laughs> game show me. I know what I'm doing. I'm 
I'm sorry, Crash. I'm sorry. But we didn't have the gym. Alright, well, at least we didn't kill him. <laughs> the generator room. How many crates? Got 52 crates to break. Without dying. Is there anything up here? No? Okay. Is there something up? Nah, I don't think there's anything over there. Isn't this platform supposed to fall? Oh, there we go. Dang, I thought that thing moved out the way, but I guess not. go to the left? I think that's probably just a previous... Yeah, that's the previous part in the level. I'm tripping. Because I was, I was jumping. But like you gotta press at the exact same time to jump and spin at the same time. But like if you, if you press jump like slightly later, it doesn't come out as fast.
Okay. So I remember I got hit by the second one, so I gotta wait until it's like all the way over there before I jump. That way I don't lose Aku. How did I die last time? Right, right. I got hit by the thing. Wow, that one in the back is moving fast. No wonder I got hit. By... All right, there we go. more crates to go. Yellow team obtained. Oh. Or maybe it is orange in this one. Is it orange? I don't know. Toxic waste. Another level I cannot die on. How many crates do I get? Okay. <laughs> I like how the toxic crate just floats to the left and then disappears. Just recognize the pattern was every two crates. I mean, every three crates bounces. You're evil. thing it can't those nice uh, TNT crates can't hit you in the air Wait, is that every crate oh I just gotta not die now oh that was probably the easiest special gym to get a colored gym I think that, yeah it's called color gym I don't know why I said special gym Y'all, I just realized something. I have not saved in the rod. Okay. There we go. Imagine 
imagine finding a person who doesn't have weapons and you just shoot him like a crazy maniac. Oh, okay. Was not expecting that to hit me. It's a good thing none of those actually kill you. <laughs> Imagine if you hit him, he just killed you like that. What's up, Violet? The high road. We're easy level. Okay, I, I was assuming the entire road was going to be like empty, but no. Alright, now the real beginning of the level. It didn't read my jump! It didn't read my jump! Okay, it's gonna read my jump this time? Yes, yes it is. Thank you. No, not the turtle jumps. Wait, I don't know if that was far enough. I don't I don't think that was far enough. How did that kill me? I I wasn't even Okay. Now, let's not fail the turtle jump. See, when I actually start trying, this level is easy. Because I know the secret tech called Look at Your Shadow. I was accidentally pressed to the left. Because I, I used a D-pad, and so I accidentally tapped to the left, and that, that made me miss the turtle. But you know, like, how the D-pads are, like, close to each other? So, like, if, if you press, like, in the kind of close to the middle, you accidentally end up pressing to the side. Like right now, how I slowly went to the right, even though I should not have. Oh wait, there was an opening right there? I didn't even see that. I thought I was good. <laughs> I honestly did not see that opening. 
It got me right there. I did not see that opening at all. I thought I was in for the clear. I saw the checkpoint. I was like, all right, I'm good. See, yeah, there's an opening like right there, the very last one. I didn't see that, and then I died there. That's okay. It's funny, I wonder, are all these, is this like an hallucination and these animals are like actually dead? Okay, I gotta remember after I jump, after the jump past the first pig, just wait. Cause that's not a red one, I don't need to rush it. I'm starting to rush it after I just told myself stop rushing it. Okay, that's it. I'm I'm getting serious now. <laughs> Alright, serious time now. I'm just gonna look at my shadow. And then stop sitting here talking and distracting myself. Oh wait. Whoopsie. I should be good though. Wait. What am I doing? There we go. Now that's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> but Violet, if I don't purposely die to make it look suspenseful, nobody will watch. I did try start trying just a little bit harder towards the end, but as you can clearly see, I just steamrolled the end like it was nothing, and only died like one or two times. But in the beginning, I was clearly just trolling the entire time, you know, making the level look hard. <laughs> Thank you for staying until the end of the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and comment below. Alright, until next time, remember to be a legend and have a great day.